Hi girls, it's Kateri with Crafts by Kateri. I want to show you how to make um, this flower and um, hopefully it won't, uh, it shouldn't take too long. So I've already got everything prepared and we'll just get, we'll get started. Okay, first of all, you want to take um, some strips of paper and it just depends on how long uh, you want them, you know, to be. This will, this is just the width of a not or a 10 or 11 by 8 sheet of paper and um, I will be cutting part of this off. But you, I take it and fold it in half and then I just start cutting um, little pieces like this. Um, this flower I learned how to make um, a couple of years ago when I started uh, paper quilling. And you could actually buy um, um, a little gadget that will cut these for you, but um, I don't, I mean, I don't mind, I don't mind doing this. So anyway, you just, you cut all the way across. If you get to the end, you just kind of level or equal it out, you know, the best you can. I've got two sheets there. This one is already done. And um, I think we'll do, I think we'll do the red one. Um, but you... After you um, do this, um, most of the time when I do these, I kind of tear it off, you know. I take off about two inches of that. But you want to, well, hold on a minute. I got the wrong thing here. I'm thinking something entirely diff or different. Anyway, I have this... Um, little tool here that um, has a little slit in it. You see that? Anyway, it's got this little slit and you um, slide the um, paper in there and you just, you roll it down. Be very careful. I always put my fingernail here when I slide it out um, to keep it from um, unrolling from the center and I think I'm gonna to have to take my glasses off I have bifocals and still can't see with them <clears throat> and it does you don't have to get you know all of these just perfect um, when you do them it doesn't make any difference how low or high up you get them So, <clears throat> I've been trying to clean up my craft area today, and I thought, well, while it's still light out, I wanted to go ahead and do this video, and um, I'm almost done. I can't stand to have things kind of, you know, out of, out of um, order. So every once in a while I have to stop and try to clean things back up again. So I've been busy today trying to do that and um, that way I don't feel like I'm, I even rearranged all of my material that I use to make all of my fabric flowers and um, just kind of moved everything back against the wall instead of right up against where I'm sitting. Made it kind of nice because I could just turn and grab whatever I wanted, but it's not that far away that, you know, I can't get to it. So, um, you will have to, the bottom of this, I will be cutting some of it off. It's a little bit um, too wide um, 
to go around the stem we're going to be going around. <laughs> And I don't, I mean, you pro. I got this little tool, I think, at Hobby Lobby. They don't have a whole lot of quilling things there, but you can buy this stuff online, too, if you decide you want to you wanna do this. Um, unless, you can, unless you've got a husband that can go out and take a thin nail and... Um, Put a slice down the center. You could even try to roll these around a little skinny nail, but it's, you know, I can do like four or three or four of these at a time, depending on how wide my um, cut is. And my cuts are all different sizes, so um, it's not going to make any difference. I don't think it makes any difference on, you know, I think it looks better if they are different sizes. Okay, so we got that done. So there is, what, about a half inch or so on there. So I'm just going to take half of that off of there. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're really not going to see it. Just make sure you don't cut into, um, okay, into where you've probably cut your strip down. Now, let me see if I can, what you're going to do, this is um, a wire, and I got these at Joann's, and um, they come really long, so depending on how big or small you want your flower like this flower right here is pretty short and um, so I made my stem a lot uh, shorter this flower because it's you know got more on it it is this longer it's like where I took and just divided this long strip into three um, but with the small one then I took one of these and cut it in half is it really doesn't need to, you know, they just don't need to be, they don't need to be very long. So I've got those stuck in my candle so you guys can see them. But, um, oh great. Right, let's see. Okay, so I use glue. I don't use the glue gun. So um, what you're going to do is um, when you go it's I got well nope that's not right it's this way okay so I take the rolls have to be on um, the right side of the stick or the you know, whatever, stem, whatever. And I start it at an kind of, well, kind of at an angle. Just an, I mean, it's not a lot. Let's see if I can move my fingers. Anyway, it's, it's, it's just very slight. And you are going to just wrap, you know, your paper um, around that stem. But I have to put some glue on here first. You don't need a lot of glue. So we will angle that and you're just going to, you really gotta work with this the paper around this stem because it is kind of thin. Man, am I glad I didn't get the thinner one. <laughs> that would have been really hard to work with. Anyway, you're going to kind of roll it with your finger just to keep it kind of tight. You got to play with this because when I first started doing this, it it was um, it kept slipping on me. So 
And as you roll this, this glue is, it will spread. Um, as you can see, I'm doing, doing this, um, I can see the glue coming out. And all you have to do is just roll this around. And like I said, it's not... Um, um, what was I just going to say? Anyway, you're not doing it really fast. And eventually, what mine just kind of started... See, I can feel this paper is rolling on me, so I have to put my finger up here to kind of stop it. Until, and you, you pretty much can form, or I mean, you can make this paper do whatever you want. If you want it straight around, or if you want to angle it down. And as you can see, mine's still kind of angled down a little bit. <clears throat> I looked up hyacinths, and I couldn't believe there are actually red ones, so I thought... I would just do a red one. I haven't done one yet. I just wish we could smell them because they always smell so good. get done here and take my dogs out. It's halfway nice out, but we got snow coming and I'm sure some of you have, what is today's the, is it today? Yes, today's the last day of the month. Okay, so I need to, I need to glue the bottom of this. Just very, very very slight on the glue. Okay. <clears throat> I don't normally play with these, you know. I just let them do whatever. Now, once you have that, you can squeeze that together. And when the glue dries, it, it'll all be fine. Now, what I have, the next step, I have two papers here. And you need to make these leaves. And it doesn't make any difference how you cut these. I just kind of do whatever. You want a point for sure. And I just try to... Okay, this piece will come out. So I actually have a leaf there. And there's a leaf. And this will come out. And then I'll do the last one. I don't normally do any more than, than three leaves. Um, the smaller the better. Okay. So, you have, you know, something similar to this. And what I did, because I, I actually did this one, and it doesn't have any paint, it's just plain, and yeah, it's okay. But my new ones, or the other ones... I actually painted different colors of green on them so they would look maybe a little bit more real. Um, of course you can do you can do whatever. So there's really three colors. You've got the base color and then I have a darker color and a lighter color green and I need to get a different color of green. But when these get put on, they don't look like a whole lot right now. But when you get those put on there, they, they look pretty cool. So, you just want to... A little bit of glue. 
and then you're going to put the painted or if you paint it um, side to the towards the flower and you're just going to lay it at the base of that and you're going to wrap it around and you know squeeze it together so there's the first layer and I of course do several layers none of these are the same they're just all different so I want to cut this inward okay just about got too much glue there and then you're going to want to move down just a tad bit on on the next one and just continue to wrap these leaves around sometimes these things are almost impossible and I'm sure there might be a better way out there to make leaves but I kind of like the way these turned out. There. So we'll get another one. And it just kind of, I like the way these roll or um, um, go on here if you. Um, round the bottom than if they're straight. I don't know why, but they seem to work a little bit better if they're rounded at the bottom. So, anyway, as you get them on there, you just kind of, you know, roll your leaves down. I think I'll do, I'll do another. Didn't even squeeze that. Okay, it's my dog, Spencer. What you doing, Spencer? Okay. So anyway, there's, that's what, four? I did four on that one. And you could do more if you wanted to. I like those. Those leaves turned out pretty good when you get them all on there. I like them better than my other ones. So anyway, that's, that's the flower. Pretty cute. Anyway, um, try that. It's, um, like I said, it's quilling. And um, I've done it for several years. I just haven't done it for a while. Um, but uh, might be a good addition to, you know, some of the alteration things, you know, that we're doing. Kind of add those in one way or somehow. I'll figure out how to use them. But um, so I'm just going to try different types of flowers. Matter of fact, we're <clears throat> I've got... some of my flowers here that I've already made. This is all done with, um, you know, eighth inch uh, sheets of paper, long sheets of paper. And um, you use this tool here. And uh, so I made that one. Love that. I'll probably, I could, I couldn't glue it on here, but you know, I mean, there's things. This is a paper flower that I made. This is a really easy flower to make. My gosh. Um, that one's really, that little white one's cute. Um, here's, here's another one. And that little one. And then these are really cute. This little flower here. That's the back. This is the front. 
Can you see that? Cute, cute, cute. And then <laughs> I like doing this. This was this was pretty cool. It's just a lot of different colors that um, you twirl together and then you kind of push them out a little bit. Looks pretty cool. And then <clears throat> that little tiny flower. Let's see. What else is in here? Oh, yes. Orchid. So I've had these in here were extra flowers, and I will probably end up using them in some of my um, things that I'm going to be making. And then, oh, here's this one. It's really pretty. Like little buttons. Those are so cool. And then, um, and here's a little ladybug. Yep. And then, let's see. I've got little pieces of things in here, too. This is one of the first paper paper rose things that I did. Pretty wild. And then made this. And these are really cute. Those are really, that's kind of the same thing, um, you know, where I took this and you just, um, you you wrap it around I don't know you can wrap it around whatever you can wrap it around something like this of course it's going to be a whole lot shorter and once you do that and you and of course you have a center in it then you just start opening these up so that's pretty easy uh, to do too there's a little turquoise rose and I've got, um, I don't know, can you see the center? I kind of um, made the little fringe on the inside and, um, and then twirled it. So there's a way that you have to do that too. Look at that little flower. Isn't that cute? Tiny. So I need to get back into doing some of my quilling stuff because I'm sure I could um, come up with some really um, cool things. I did a, I did a picture of a basset, and I also did a flower, um, and it's probably on face. I probably have it in my Facebook. Oh, I forgot about this. I never did do anything with this. This is a letter B. I don't know if you can see it. So here, I'll turn it. Well, no, I think. Anyway, it's the letter B. So um, anyway, I love quilling. It was always so fun, so I need to get back into it again. But um, I thought I would show you some of those. And um, if you decide that you're interested in learning how to do some of those, you need to leave me a message and let me know. Oops, and um, we can most certainly um, do a tutorial on some of those. So I will um, let you go, and I'll get this uploaded, and then I have got to do my um, um, haul from the um, antique shop. So everything's still sitting in the bag. I haven't even taken it out. So I need to, because I'm going to have to start making more fabric flowers, and because uh, I've got some events coming up that I need to take some stuff with me next month. So anyway, we'll um, get back with you. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk at you later. Bye.